Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SEA servers with Coco Jackson account. Thank you very much for always letting me borrow this account so I can showcase on SEA whatever is going on. And now we have the TMNT collab coming in for SEA because we had it on the global version and they didn't have it yet. And let me tell you, Leonardo is looking really fine. With his first drop, he will be with Rafael, I guess. And then we will have Michelangelo and Donatello or whatever it is. You know that if you have Michelangelo and uh, Donatello and Raphael with Leonardo, Leonardo is the banner you want to summon on. Now, if they got you the same event that we have, you're going to have Leonardo focus on him, get him max, then save your copies to go for Donatello or Raphael, whatever you want. But mainly you want to go for Leonardo because he's the core turtle. If you watch my video, I'll be linking it with this video. It's the same explanation. Hopefully it will be the same characters. If they change anything about him, I'm gonna make a full video describing all of his kits and you're gonna be seeing that. And we still have almost uh, four days for us to get it. And they have their collab currency, which you will uh, go and replace if you can, if you have the currency, which is the special summon characters or uh, tickets that you summon Akuma and even were you with it, you can go and swap it one for one and you're gonna get the tickets here to summon for him and you're gonna get a lot of copies for him every time you're gonna get to a milestone you're gonna get a copy of him and uh if you upgrade him i think to s plus i think s or s plus you're gonna get another copy and something like that it's a very very free to play friendly or user uh, friendly or player friendly uh event this collab the story mode is amazing you're gonna enjoy it a lot so focus on leonardo he's the main carry he goes uh and do uh, goes beyond immunities he's a bison killer in general that's what we have on global if they change him, we'll be talking about him in SEA. Second of all, we're still having the uh, Gate of Glory event going on. Of course, the celebration, you still have it here. And you're going to get some tickets, so save your tickets. Don't summon with them so you can go for the collab, uh, the TMNT, and use them there. We still have the cake. It would, sadly, we didn't have it on Global. Hopefully, we're going to get something in return, something like it. And we have Gate of Glory. I'll be talking about it soon. First of all, I'm going to talk about the guild. Uh, my friend always tells me, like uh, what is the lineup and he go and do it with my uh, with, with what I tell him actually with what they have on their servers and as you see we're rank one now now every time that the boss comes everybody who built Akuma and went for Akuma are using Akuma but there's specific factors in the game that happened first of all something called damage reduction damage reduction is something insane in the game which allows you to deal even more damages on the boss Ixil have a certain skills that we need to talk about so Ixil he will shock you he will stun you whenever he stuns you you can evade the stun with simply dropping an EX move whenever you drop an EX move while you're stunned he can't electrify you after that because he will be out of the time window you'll be outside the stun area and then you can continue your combo you can be in the middle of the combo press uh, something from the tag position SC2 or C1 and then press the EX move and you're gonna be outside the stun so he will not do any damages. I'm gonna explain that with showing you the uh, replay as you see. There's not a very big difference that this guy Slomoji, big shout out to him. He's the biggest whale in the game right now in SEA, especially in this zone and he's dominating everything. Still in bossing areas, he's not utilizing Luke so much with his C2 and he's not utilizing everybody else just checks the top one and goes with the same lineup. The best team for this boss actually so far for you on uh, on SEA if you're playing that is the Viper team. Viper, you can use Gormagalakan or you can use Evil Ryu. I would highly recommend use Gormagalakan if you max him. If you max Evil Ryu, use Evil Ryu or use him as an assist, but I will show you my assist on this lineup because it's completely different. Luke with the C2 and C1 from C Poison. Now you can use Athlete chun -Li if you want here. I prefer using her more than Athlete chun -Li. Athlete Chun-Li adds damage, but Street Poison give you the stacks faster and uh, the damage, the crit rate, the pressure, everything, so the boss can't dodge. And this is how you do the great damages. Now, of course, I'm using the Akuma AX because it will buff your attacks on the highest damage dealer, which is Viper here. And as you see, Viper is maxed out. You don't even have to max her out like that. And she outshines Akuma on a normal account. Now, of course, if you versus a big mega whale, he can auto this boss and get better numbers. But if we're talking same stats wise, same uh, trees that you built, this is, will be awesome. Now I'm using the AX for uh, Chun-Li, which is the drones, because it will help me out a little bit and it will give me more combo meter because every time you crit, you will increase your crit chances and you will increase your combo meter. Of course, Virgil EX is, an, is a great uh, EX move. It's a must on any account. If you don't have it, 
that's very sad if the dmc returns to sea just grab one copy of it that would be awesome for your account in progress in progression in story in everywhere even in pvp so let's go and check the lineup i want to show you the lineup before we see the replay i'm using it that way i'm using yun on this is not yun wait a second here we go yun i'm using him on gormagalakan now of course if you watched my videos on uh street fighter duel global you know that yun uh, plus five or his exclusive is whenever an assist do a trigger skill he will jump and give you 80 combo meter and he will deal a little bit of damage but it's every 12 seconds so if there is an interval time every 12 seconds he does it so gormagalakan when you use a c2 when you use a c1 he will go and do a trigger so every time in the rotation after 12 seconds passes he will jump in immediately 100 percent young and he will do the damages he will jump on the boss deal a damage and give you 80 combo meters so you can go and refill your combo meter because on sea we have only maximum two combo charges on your combo meter so you can't fill it up to three for us on global we can fill it up to three and we can go up to four almost four and start our rotation so we can have the maximum back-to-back -back rotation with not even uh standing still we'll, we'll be always attacking now of course i'm using yang as well yang similar to yang but yang does it when you crit so you get to him to plus five now i recommend to put best gears on him when you have him on assist and give him at least plus uh, five plus ten if you can get it to plus ten if it's available for you plus 20 if it's available for you only because he gets more stats the more hp the more uh, attack he gets he gives you to the uh to the attack position so if we put him on him you see hp and attack increases so whatever gears you put on him whatever you build him on give him more cars better gears you get him better exclusives he will give hp more and attack more to your carry to your viper and his plus five as we said Every time you uh, inflict a critical strike, Yang joins and deal damage, and every attack gives you a combo meter, which is 80, 80 gauge combo meter, which is also in 12 seconds. So every 12 seconds, which is really great because you will build up more combo meters so you can go and attack the boss. And that's how it goes. Street Poison, I will show you the timing, how we abuse her timing so you don't get stunned. So let's go and check the replay. At times four, of course, at the start, I just accumulate combo meter. I'm gonna show you the trick from the start. So now, right now, we took a damage, okay? Now the next uh, super from the boss, and he will do now his ultimate. We're gonna take a hit, actually. So I started with Viper, and I used the C1, then I used an EX, then I continued. So you see, he didn't deal any damage. I continued dealing damage back to back to the boss without dying now this point this is why the attack position with their high hp will help you because at this point if they attack you you will still survive so i can go and deal more damage plus when your hp drops a little bit you're gonna get the shields from viper from the six out of six and you will get more damage and more combo meter and as you see here so the boss now will deal uh, i'm dealing my combo meter and the boss here will attack me before he attacked me i dropped the ax of virgil everybody's supposed to die nobody dies and i continue rotation now why viper is healing because uh street poison goes back to the fight and when she's on the floor she can give you combo meter now here the boss will attack us and stun us he stuns us i drop the ax move and i become unstunned and he didn't deal any damage as you see i evaded the whole damage this is the trick where we we use to fight excel especially on global everybody knows it now on global now if you don't know it on uh sea this is how you go now i dropped uh super c1 and c2 immediately because when you're doing the c2 you're invulnerable to that damage so you don't take damage with luke so this is what lets you add a little bit of damage if you want to and this is how we got our highest score and this is how we got on the top leaderboard now of course there's still two hours two hours until this finish hopefully if this video comes out before two hours and you see it you can go and give it a shot maybe derank us from rank one i know it's a little bit hard we wailed a little bit on this account but you can do it nothing is impossible now the second thing i want to talk about is the glory gates of glory so everybody we're fighting here and you know that there's scores and stuff and we're fighting guy what is what i'm using the same exact team but this time i'm using i think i didn't use him i think i used yang here but anyway you can use virgil as well why because guy one of his attacks or his super attack the backline now we're using gen so he attacks the shadow clone of gen there will be a shadow clone backline behind 
uh, Viper when uh, on her main lineup and he'll be attacking them. Sometimes I drop the uh, Street Poison with her C1, guy goes to attack her and she goes back to back uh, to, uh, to the attack position so he doesn't hit anybody and doesn't kill anybody. So I continue my rotation. Super, C1, C2, C3. Timing is everything. You need Gen, Gen will help you a lot so you can evade a little bit of damage. If you have Virgil and uh, if you have Bison, everybody build Bison, you can use Bison instead of Virgil actually here on Viper so she can take the full damage and never die first of all uh whenever the fight is gonna end so let's go and check the results for the last one here we go so uh the second place i think they did the same damage no 333 million while we did 406 million this is the difference this is how big the difference is because of using viper of course they're using akuma or something like that if we want to check the second and the third so here are they using they're using viper this is good team don't use Fei long with viper she does a little bit of fire damage but it's not uh, th that big so you can use her Akuma does great actually but the biggest thing that we go with is Viper and Luke Luke will always reduce damage reduction on the bosses his C2 is insane this is why we use him so I'm gonna show you the replay of this fight and I'm gonna go to times 4 at the start just to accumulate combo meter a little bit and as you see Guy starts attacking our Gen. You see the Shadow Clone of Gen back then so he started he attacked him and we dropped the drones and we start Viper Street Poison, Luke, then Viper. And he will go and attack Gen again, or he will attack the backline, yeah, as you see here. But we evaded that because Poison went back to her uh, original position. So we start Viper, Poison, Luke, then Viper. And here we use Viper, Poison. He went to attack Poison, Poison went back to the attack position. We use the C2 of Luke, then the C3 of Viper. Everybody are healthy, everybody surviving. C1, C2, C3 again. This is how you go and evade uh, this thing. And now he killed the Gen Shadow Clone. So we start with Viper, C1 from Seed Poison, C2 from Luke, C3 from Viper. And here we go. Nobody died because he killed the Shadow Clone of Gen. So we use the Virgil EX. He attacked Viper. She didn't die. C1, C2, C3. And this is why we are healthy. We go again with our combo meter and rotation. We're still dealing damage and he didn't kill us he did all of his rotation now he killed viper and because he killed viper i can start with luke and i started with luke dealing some damage c1 from street poison c2 from luke and then i use the drone now he will attack street poison and kill her and of course we have luke so i started with him dealing a little bit more damage so this is how we capitalized ourselves and dealt more damage of course we have four reversal even if he hits us we wouldn't die so this was the biggest lineup that we did and this is how we scored the highest score the biggest damage and hopefully you can all do the same it's the same basic lineup viper luke street poison you can use bison as a tank you can use either ryu as a tank you can use any normal tank that you want maybe honda you don't need to attack with anybody else but if you have anybody that is a trigger character like either ryu or gormagala can it will be helpful even bison he triggers and explodes the first two times you do your rotation so use that and hopefully this will help you do better scores and i'll be seeing you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fly, time to fly Never give up, we won't retreat